from Virgin Gorda for the Caribbean Superior Regatta. Accolades go to the new handicap rule implemented for the first time ever during this event. You know, we looked at the ratings pretty hard last night for the wind speeds and it played out pretty much, you know, we had the edge downwind, they're pointing a little higher upwind. We're going to have a serious fight in our hands. Following three days of hard fought and incredibly tight racing, the overall victory is awarded to P2 in Class A and Marie in Class B. I would say that this was the most exciting. It was gratifying. It was unexpected. It was so dramatic. On the final day, both classes complete an anti-clockwise round the island course, taking them from a downwind start. Less than 40 seconds separate the top three boats across the line after 20 miles of racing. The battle to the finish between P2, Freria and Cap Arrow is fascinating. The 125-foot sloop P2 claims her second consecutive bullet to assure her overall victory. The crew is delighted. I'm delighted. Everybody's delighted. As I said, this was the most exciting win ever. Skipped by Lee McMillan, pre-event favorite The Wave Muscat wins the Extreme Sailing Series Act 2 on home waters for the third consecutive year. We had a really tough day today and SAP were definitely sailing considerably better than us and really had the measure of us on the start lines and, and, and getting off and put the pressure on. Following 28 races, just two points separate the Omani and Danish teams, with the advantage in the ends of ACP selling team before the final race. The Wave Muscat manages to take control from the start and extends away from the fleet to take the race win and the overall act victory. Yeah, we pulled it off right in the last race when we had to and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's certainly it's pretty exhausting when it happens that way. Managing only a third place in the final race, Danish ACP Extreme Selling Team are narrowly denied their first ever act victory. Uh, it might be satisfying in, uh, in half an hour, but uh, I, I think we were so close to uh, winning here that um, yeah, we uh, we obviously uh, putting everything into trying and, and win this regatta. The Danes conclude Act 2 in second place after an exciting down-to-the-wire final double-point race shootout. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll be happy with the second place here and looking forward to, uh, to, to race again in, in China. Next, the Extreme Sailing Series moves to Qingdao at the end of April. Over 600 people attend the award dinner and ceremony of the 88th Bakari Cup and the sixth Bacardi Miami Selling Week. When you come to Miami uh, for the Bacardi Regatta, you know it's going to be a good regatta and it's going to be a good week of sailing. Following a week-long regatta, Lars Grail and Samuel Gonclaves defend their star Bacardi Cup title from 2014 in front of 56 boats. We are very proud to win the Bacardi Cup for the second time in a row. I think it's not too many times in the history of the Bacardi Cup with 88 years that someone uh, wins uh, twice in a row. The J70s complete eight races over the three days event. Finishing first in the 46 boat fleet is Mauricio Santa Cruz on Brochetta. High level sailing with a lot of fun in the evening activities and that is something that's contagious and you'll see top sailors from all over the world coming. Nine races are completed on the Viper 640 course with 32 teams competing. Winning the week is Brad Boston on jackpot. Well, I think with the number of boats and, and the competitors we've seen listed, it's pretty, a pretty deep fleet. Everyone is already looking forward to the 2016 regatta that will take place in Coconut Grove and Biscayne Bay. The second edition of the Swan Cup Caribbean draws to a close with a fourth day of picture-perfect sailing for the 21 participating yachts. The Swan Cup is a showcase of passion and sportsmanship and a testament to the joy of sailing. The setting of the Yacht Club Costa Esmeralda in Virgin Gora is spectacular and the entire week is characterized by a brisk easterly wind of 20 knots. 
Following the single start for all classes, the larger Class A boats are to complete on the 25 nautical mile course that brings them west to Great Kamanoe Islands and back to the finish of Neke Island. With no change in the prevailing conditions, the group winners claim bullet on corrected time to extend their leads they had secured from the start of the event. Overall winners of the event are Swan 80 Celine in Class A and Swan 53 Music in Class B. Part of the International Day of Women's Rights, the Women's Cup is a regatta organized in Pornichet. France. 14 boats and 28 teams are divided into two groups for a weekend of racing in the bay. Whether from the Olympics, the match racing or offshore racing, the athletes come here to compete but also to share their experiences in the most simple way. Despite a persistent fog on the final day, the races start on time for the 14 teams of the gold group. The wind takes a lot of time to settle down, giving a hard time to the organizers and the 70 women very eager to race. The sun and wind animate the bay for the second part of the competition, especially the silver group. The weekend ends with an award ceremony held in a very friendly atmosphere. <laughs> 